Hi. Hi. Really close. We are close. Okay. Okay. We just wanted to um, do a little quick Q&A just to get to know each other. Well, we know each other, but you guys don't all know us. Yes. So we wanted to jump on and get a little intro and ask each other some questions, mm -hmm. do a little interview so that you can get to know us for mm -hmm. our podcast that we're going to launch. We've been doing a lot of behind the scenes in case yeah. you're wondering. I've only got half a head. <laughs> I've got a whole head. But Lisa's got a massive yeah, head. I've got a massive head. Actually, I do, I'm the one with a massive head. Yeah, I've got this a is true. Head. In photos, she actually pushes my head forward so that I because can... Because I'm like a man. Yeah. Um, anyway, we've been doing a lot of behind the scenes, working towards our podcast. But we just wanted to say a little hello so you don't forget about us. Because yes. it's coming soon. But here's a little Q&A. So we've written questions down. Good question. And I think Lisa... So I'll start. Go first. Okay. And you can tell she has an accent. So where, hey, hang on where, first. We've got matching mugs. Matching mugs. <laughs> Where, so where are you from, Joanna? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Hi. Lisa, I'm from Australia, Sydney, Australia, and I moved here probably, gosh, how many years ago? Like 20-something years ago with my ex-husband who worked for Nike, and we lived in Amsterdam for about three years as well and came back, and now I'm married with five children. Was that your next question? No. Okay. So, you, <laughs> where, so you live now... In Beaverton, Oregon. We actually both live in Beaverton. We need to give them my address. So no, do not, my do, that. no don't do that. I was going to say, how many kids do you have? So you have, and what ages are your children? My one daughter is twenty-eight, and then I have the rest of boys, twenty-three. Let's see if I can get it right. Eighteen, thirteen, and ten. And I have a two-year-old grandson and another one on the way. She's a grandson. I'm a nana. Look at her. She's a grandma. I'm a nana. Hottest grandma I've ever seen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's Thank true. You. It's really nice. So. um Questions. I guess how how did we meet? <laughs> I don't know how we met, but they don't know. We met in prison, and um, Lisa, I gave you this tattoo. Yes, she tattooed me. I like, chose first time, first time tattooing, and they look great. So if you see my tattoos, yeah. it was her done in prison. It was so, a nice butterfly tattoo. It was, yes, that was the yeah. first one. Yeah, yeah, on my foot. But um, okay. yeah, yeah. So that's no, how we met. Really, we met. Okay, through... we met through my husband, and Lisa was his friend, yes. and I babysat your. Oh, Cole. I needed Absolutely. a babysitter, so you ended up babysitting Cole, we and we got to know each other, and we fell in love. We did. We fell in love. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next question. What do you do for work? Oh, I wear a lot of hats. I'm, I'm saying, oh, like I don't know what the questions are, but tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actor. That's why. Um, I'm an actor and model, and I also work at Portland Pinups as a stylist um, with my friend Mike Long, and that I also clean houses with Lisa. This well, that's going to be your question. What do you do? Yes, <laughs> but yes. yeah, so I clean with Lisa. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, and also beach body coach. Um, and a mom. Coach. Health coach. Health coach. Yep. So let's see here. Oh, and so this is an interesting question. So would you consider yourself more of an extrovert or an introvert? I think everyone would say I'm an extrovert, but I'm actually an introvert and a hermit. I love being alone at home. I don't like going out, especially in crowds or parties. But we have to, otherwise we'd be very lonely people. So I do go out and I tend to like give out. That's why people think I'm an extrovert because I give a lot. And I always want to make everyone feel comfortable and included and have fun. And yes. so I go overboard with energy and talking. And then I have to retreat for about a month yeah. to regain my strength. Yes. I think we're kind of similar. We're just, yeah. People think we're extroverts, but we're really shy. Yeah. I pick up my paper. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay. So what is a pet peeve of yours? What's a pet peeve? When people say geysers, because a geyser is water that's stuck <laughs> out the ground, but when they're like, hey, you geysers, or these geysers, and it's not, you just say you guys. Is there any an S on the no, end? Geysers. You never say geysers, because that's, it's just like so many extra vowels, and it just like really pisses me off. And also people who aren't kind and considerate when you're driving, and just in life, just be kind to people. It doesn't take much. And when people are cranky and mean and selfish, I just really don't like that. It's rude. Rude. Yeah. And yeah. it's not nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> One more question. Um, so that was your pet peeve. I mm -hmm. would say, what is something that a lot of, a lot of people don't know about you? It's something interesting that yeah. a lot of people don't know about you. I okay. might not even know this about her. I'm not sure. I like fishing. Oh, okay. Um, 
And what kind of fishing? <clears throat> I, like, I want to learn to fly fish, and then Lisa does not want to do that at I, all. I she really does not don't want to do that, I but I think that'd be like really fun to have big waders on and be out there. I can see you fly out there. Fly fishing, I would love you it. You could get like a really cute little like, like bib and bracey oh thing. Gosh, so and cute. Like, you should be, do a photo shoot with that. I should. It'd be really, <laughs> really no, it'd be seriously sexy. cute. It would be really cute. It would be hot. Fly okay. fishing. Um, the other thing people don't know is I like snakes and I like bats. No. I really, I would love a pet snake, but my husband is afraid of them, so we can't because they feel so good and they're beautiful. And I love bats. When I was little. My brother and I would what? find little tiny bats and we'd bring them inside and I'd try and keep them alive until my mom found out that we had them. Okay. Were they big in Australia? They get really big, but the ones we found were like little. So, and they where fruit. were you when you found these bats? Because I've never really just found bats. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In your backyard? Yes. Okay. In Australia. Okay. Yeah. So they're so, fruit bats. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to eat a bat yeah, too. I don't know if those are the things sometimes at, yes. at night here yes, when bats. I'm walking the dog mm -hmm. and they swoop down and. I'm like afraid they're going to get in my hair or something. Yeah, I'm like, no, mm, yeah. no, no, I don't think they don't. so. Okay. Maybe they would. I don't know. They're really okay. cute. If you see them up close, they're cute little bat face. And they eat nice. fruit. Oh. Except there's some in Australia that actually eat I do a good rat face, but yes. the bat face, I, I'll have to work cute on bat it. face. We won't do my rat face today, though. In, no. Sorry, this is one interesting bat okay. question. Yes. Bat answer. In Australia, in the <clears> zoo, I saw a bat hanging upside down, and it was eating like a little baby chicken. Like, they actually, they eat, they um like, not vampire, but they're, what do you call the that? Head? Meat yeah. eaters. Okay, yeah, I think they're the only ones, carnival, the only ones in the world. Anyway, this little oh, really? interesting tidbit. Oh. But now I'm going to ask Lisa some questions. Okay. That's not about me. <laughs> I'm talking too much. <laughs> okay, first question is, what is the, your social security number and the name of your first pet? Okay, yes. Um, <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. What, is, um, what brought you to Oregon? Because I know you're from Chico. Yes, I'm from Chico. I moved to Oregon about 18 years ago, and because one of my best friends lived here, and I was I went through kind of a bad relationship, so I mm. wanted a fresh start, and I ended up in Oregon, and um, have been here for about 18 years now. Wow, yeah, it's a long time. Yeah. Okay. Next question: How many kids do you have? I have two boys. I have a 12 year old and a 14 year old. Who's your favorite? I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they both are. I love yeah. them both. How did we meet? Which I kind of answered, but if you want to like a yeah. little bit more info in. Uh, so yeah, she did end up babysitting my son because I had an appointment and I couldn't find a babysitter or something. Or Dana, I, Dana was good. Well, we had Dana. a mutual friend mm -hmm. and then you ended up babysitting. Yeah, because I lived on the road. Day, you lived on the and you didn't really know me. You trusted we kind of lived on um, Wisteria. Wisteria Lane. Wisteria Lane. It was an interesting street. A lot of things yeah, happened. Yeah, a lot of things happened mm -hmm. went down there. So mm -hmm. Wisteria <laughs> Lane, down. referring to Desperate Housewife yeah. area. It was or kind of like that. Um, and then really you were pregnant with Mark, Mark yeah. and I just thought, this is something so we just, sweet. We yeah. just connected and clicked and I just, I fell in love with her and mm -hmm. thought she was so we're awesome. Just meant to be. And she's real and true and it's down to earth. Oh, that's nice. And genu true. you're genuine and, and genuine. authentic and we're all the things. Yeah. I think. We love each other. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for work? So I own a residential house cleaning company. And then I also am a health coach and um, really trying to get that business growing. We, I've done beach body. We do beach body mm -hmm. together and we do some health coaching together as well. And what else? I clean, we clean together mm -hmm. with, for my business. Which and, is fun. Which yeah. is kind of, okay, that's when we're cleaning houses, oh, yeah. we just listen to podcasts the whole time and oh, we're doing, hours and hours a day. And so it's podcasts. constantly like, come in here, listen to this, you gotta listen to this one. You have to listen to it because I do whatever she says. And um, so we just listen to a lot of podcasts yep. and share the information with each other. And then we're, that's, okay, I don't know if we're going to ask it's this like later. Well, years ago that yeah. we started really focusing on that and went through our own kind of healing and um, with podcasts. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, I don't know, for you, for me, like listening to a podcast would change my whole day. And if I was in a bad mood or depressed mm -hmm. or something was going wrong, I would listen to a podcast and it could completely change my whole day. And plus so informative. And you mm -hmm. guys turned me on. Her husband, Chris, turned me on to Sean Stevenson, yeah. the Model Health Show. That was the first one I ever listened yeah, to. Yeah, me too. And we were just always sharing information, and we, we got so much good information That's out good. of it that we just, we fell in love with podcasts, and mm -hmm. so we just couldn't get enough of them, and we started branching out. Yeah, because if it was like mm -hmm. for emotional relationship or kids or health, because I yeah. had a lot of health issues, and my kids did too, mm -hmm. and my husband, and so just listening to podcasts mm -hmm. and like them referring you to a book, and then you read the book, and then you go online and whatever. It's just like, it's, it's, it's helped us a lot. And that's so much. And that's kind of like, well, we want to help other people. Cause yep. Yep. we've had to listen to a lot. <laughs> yes. Life coaching podcasts, mm -hmm. like Christine yeah. Kessler and all that. Yeah. It's, it's been, it's literally changed our lives. Mm -hmm. And I think that the information is out there for people and it's so easily accessible than, you know, nowadays. Yeah. And so if people can 
we can share that information and yeah and guide them and, so that right, you don't have yeah. to listen to hundreds right yeah. you can be like i've got thyroid problems and like go and listen to this podcast yeah and i read this book well i want to kill my husband it's like okay go listen <laughs> to this podcast and like, i'm just kidding i, I don't want to kill my husband i love him <laughs> okay um and so okay yeah. but what's your next um oh are you an introvert or an extrovert i think it's pretty similar to you i i think i come across as an extrovert being at public, or being out in public or at parties, I do the same thing. I give all my energy. I, I tend to feel like I, I have to strike up the conversation. I have to make almost like have to make it a good time. Yeah. And so I give all my energy. But then when I go home, I'm tired and I need to kind of do a retreat and kind of get my energy back. What's so, your um, um, personality? You know, when you do the test, um, oh, I'm I INFJ. I forget the letters. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll know for next time. Um, you might be the same um, as me, INFJ or I, ENFJ or yeah, something. I might be ENFJ. Yeah. But you can imagine us together, if you invite us it's to a, a party, lot. it's a lot. We're like the entertainment. But the, we, uh, are, we are fun though. Yeah, we're fun. <laughs> we'll make you giggle. Yeah. But this is what our life together is constantly like this. Yeah. We never stop talking. Yeah. We talk a lot. Um, your pet peeves. Okay. My pet peeve is, this is huge. So <laughs> I, 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 I cannot is. stand when people leave their animals in the car, especially well, dogs, because cats usually aren't in the car, and they don't roll the windows down, or how about let's just leave the animals at home, and if they are in the car, park in the shade and roll the windows all the way down. There's so many times I've wanted to bash a window oh. and take a take an animal out of a car, and actually it's legal in Oregon now. I mm -hmm. can actually oh, can? jerry rig or whatever that <laughs> thing is. I can get the animal out now. Oh. What's that stupid thing? <laughs> that, uh, that curb yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something to curb. Jerry rig. No, but tell them what, this I'm, is what she does I'm in the summer. Years old. She, so, you're uh, in your car, <laughs> and she'll get that dog out. <laughs> I will. I actually will. That accent. Um, in, I, in summer, what do you do? Uh, what do you do? You print out. Accent. So I keep flyers <laughs> in my glove box, and on the flyer, it basically talks about how your green car, your green car, <laughs> your car is like the greenhouse effect. So if it's like 70 degrees outside, it can be up to 115 in your car. I get, say, so I use my hands when I get passionate about something. <laughs> And it can just be so hot and the dogs can die in like 15, 20 minutes. And people are always like, oh, this is, it's fine. And you know, the smaller the dog, actually the worse. People think the opposite. Oh. But the smaller the yeah. dog. Yeah. It's like sitting in a sauna. When you're in that sauna, you're like, I'm And, and so I always want to tell people, like, like, why don't you sit in the car? Yeah. And you know, I still call, I think I was a dog in the past life. With your crowbar, you're like, go <laughs> sit in your car. I'm going to see how you feel. You're going to jimmy rig them. And it's, 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 <laughs> it's, yeah, bad. <laughs> it's bad in Oregon because people think, oh, it's cooler weather, yeah. but it, it's just not. Please leave your animals at home. Oh, they so will bash I, I will literally bash your car. And she leaves the... I, she leaves I leave a on, flyer on the... Um, on all, she has no, a, I just, I literally take the flyer and I just get the windshield wiper and I just plunk it on and it's... It's done. And she and has a whole kids, pile of them in her car. I embarrass times. my kids all the time, all the time, because they are mortified. I've talked to people. I've gotten out of my car. I've actually, like, hunted people down <laughs> inside of the grocery store <laughs> or the gym. Off. I Well, I will get a crow, yeah. but I don't have one yet, but um, it's, it's embarrassing. But anyway, that's that's my pet peeve. Yeah, don't leave your animals yes. in the car because it really frustrates me. That's so okay. sad. Um, what is something about you that people wouldn't know that... So, um, something, well, about something gets surprising or something <laughs> unique or something when I get drunk, <laughs> oh my God. I know you're going to say no. <laughs> um, I become an Olympian high kicker and I start high kicking things. Mm -hmm. I start clearing street signs, cars. <laughs> it's, I don't know what comes over me. I think it's because it's I taught aerobics good. for so long. Yeah. Her leg goes all the way up like I this. Can, and she can like go around your head. I can and... go. I can do a round kick. Mm -hmm. So um, that's probably. Yeah. We had a night out once and we were in Portland and there was people on the side of the road and she was like kicking over the head. I think I started high kicking yeah. random strangers. So. It was hilarious. I yeah. think we put on video somewhere, but yeah. that was a night to remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's so talented. So yeah. So that's it. That's us. In a nutshell. Yeah. So if you want to know more. Stick around because we're going to be talking. Uh -oh. Yeah. oh, let's do that. There we go. <laughs> That's so professional. Anyway, so professional. Thanks for listening. Yep. Bye. Bye. I'm going to stop it now so we got to reach forward again.